viewers and my youngers today i am back with my new topic and today i am going to explain to you about escape velocity so first of all today we'll be discussing about escape velocity and before escape velocity we'll discuss about binding energy so first of all we need to understand about what is binding energy then binding energy then let me tell you that binding energy just like since we know about total mechanical energy of any particle it is the total kinetic energy plus total potential energy supplied to any particle so what is okay so what is this binding energy it's like if we write the total okay mechanical energy as minus gm divided by r since we know this is the total mechanical energy supplied to any particle minus gm by r but what if we take mod of e okay if we imagine we are taking mod of this e so what it will happen then here okay root will be applied and its square will be also done this will happen so when its uh, square will happen so it will happen okay so uh, the, okay g m square g m square m square divided by r square so here at later its root will happen so since we know minus into minus is plus later root will happen so it will again come same thing g m m okay divided by r this will happen of course this will happen now since we know this will happen but imagine uh, since we know that here minus was but now plus came of course why it came because square we had done later root we took so this is the magnitude of e means the total mechanical energy magnitude is gmm divided by r for any particle of mass m so, okay that is a small m now here this we have so this kind of modulus of the total mechanical energy Energy, means the magnitude of total mechanical energy supplied to any kind of particle of mass m is called the okay our binding energy means binding energy okay what is the value of binding energy gmm divided by r this we have now of course very easily we can understand escape velocity only what we have to imagine imagine such a case in which the kinetic energy provided to any particle is equals to the binding energy of that particle okay for that particle so So what we can write according to this case? So half m v e square is equals to g m m divided by r. This case will happen. Of course, this will be because here we are imagining such a case in which the kinetic energy provided to any particle. Imagine we are uh, okay. Imagine just like this marker is, and what imagine ma mass of this marker is m. Okay, here m and binding energy for this um, okay for this marker we are getting out. Then that is g m m divided by r. And I provide okay it a velocity by providing it any kind of kinetic energy and if the kinetic energy for this marker will be equals to its binding energy gm um, divided by r then we can write here mass mass can be cancelled now half v e square is equals to gm divided by r this will happen imagine we are transferring this half here then v e square is equals to gm divided by r now divided by 1 by 2 this 2 will go up okay this will be multiplied by this which is equals to 2 gm divided by r this we got 2 gm divided by r and imagine we have to find out the value of v e then v e is equals to the root of here root will take so root of 2 g m divided by r now imagine we have to make this equation more simpler then for making it more simpler multiply up and down by r and r so into r by r because since we know r r and r and r can be cancelled each in one time so into one it will come same value so value will come same only we are making this equation simpler but how it will become simpler it will become more complex like this which is equals to root of 2 g m r divided by r square now this became more complex so it is very simple now only what we have to do we have to since we know that g is small g is small g is equals to since we know g m divided by r square is small g value so that is acceleration due to gravity so imagine this g m divided by r square we are taking as small g so it will happen which is equals to root of 
टू जी आर दिस वी गॉट सिंस वी नो नाउ हाउ सिंपल दिस इक्वेशन हैज बिकम सो फाइनली वॉट वी आर गेटिंग दैट वी इज इक्वल्स टू रूट टू जी आर नाउ आई टोल टू यू दैट वी ई वैल्यू इज रूट टू जी आर नाउ क्वेश्चन इज आइज इन वॉट इज रियली वी ई ओके दिस इज आर क्वेश्चन बिकॉज सिंस वी नो हियर आई फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल पुट इट्स कैनेटिक एनर्जी दैट इज इक्वल्स टू बाइंडिंग एनर्जी नाउ वी ई वैल्यू आई फाउंड बट वॉट इज वी ई वाई वी पुट वी ई ओके जस्ट लाइक वेन एवर कानेटिक एनर्जी वी आर फाइंडिंग आउट सो हाफ एम वी स्क्वी सो वाई एट द प्लेस ऑफ वी और वी नॉट आई पुट वी ई बिकॉज वी ई इज द स्केप वेलासिटी ओके वट एवर वी आर डिस्कसिंग इन टू डेज टॉपिक इज स्केप वेलासिटी एंड वी ई इज द स्केप वेलासिटी मीन्स इट इज दैट इनफ वेलासिटी बाई विच एनी पार्टिकल कैन एक्सल रेट एंड रीच अप टू एदर अप टू इन्फिनिटी और कम आउट ऑफ द अर्थ ग्रेविटेशनल फील्ड फ्रॉम अर्थ सर्फिस ओके जस्ट लाइक इफ वैल्यूज ऑफ फॉर अर्थ वी आर पुटिंग जस्ट लाइक जी इक्वल्स टू नाइन पॉइंट एट मीटर्स पर सेकेंड स्क्वीर एंड आर इज इक्वल्स टू सिक्स पॉइंट फोर इंटू टेन रेज टू दी पॉर सिक्स मीटर्स सो वी ई वैल्यू विल बी गेटिंग इम्प्लाइज दैट वी ई फॉर अर्थ स्पेशली ओके इट इज़ नियरली इक्वल्स टू वन वैल्यूज विल पुट सो इलेवन पॉइंट टू किलोमीटर्स पर सेकेंड आई एम नॉट टेलिंग द एग्जैक्ट वैल्यू दिस इज द नियरली इक्वल्स टू सो इफ वी हैव ओके जस्ट लाइक एनी सैटेलाइट प्रेजेंट एट अर्थ सर्फिस वी हैव टू एक्सलरेट दैट सैटेलाइट एंड इमेजिन वी हैव टू गेट इट आउ ओके वी हैव टू पुट इट इन अर्थ ऑर्बिट और इमेजिन वी हैव टू मेक इट रीच इट टू मून और इमेजिन वी हैव टू मेक इट रीच इट टू मार्स टू अदर प्लानट्स सो फॉर दैट सैटेलाइट ओनली वॉट वी हैव टू टेक केयर दैट इफ इट हैज टू स्टेप द अर्थ ग्रेविटेशन फील्ड सो इमेज सो हियर वॉट एवर इट्स वेलासिटी शुड बी दैट शुड बी आदर इलेवन पॉइंट टू किलोमीटर्स पर सेकेंड और हायर दैन इलेवन पॉइंट टू किलोमीटर्स पर सेकेंड इफ इट विल बी लोअर दैन इलेवन पॉइंट टू किलोमीटर्स पर सेकेंड दैन दैट सेटेलाइट विल बी नॉट एबल टू स्केप अर्थ ग्रेविटेशनल फील्ड जस्ट लाइक इमेजिन वी आर टेकिंग एनी नाइस एग्जाम्पल इमेजिन जस्ट लाइक दिस इज द सर्फेस ऑफ अर्थ Now imagine any one any person is throwing a stone okay from here and it will go up and up later after some time it will that stone will reach here so imagine that uh, whichever man has thrown the stone up imagine he is th- he is throwing the stone by 5 meters per second so here if he will throw by 5 meters per second so first of all it will go at some height later it will return back why it will return back because it is a 5 meters per second is not equals to the 11.2 kilometers per second so here it is very low speed very low velocity in comparison to 11.2 kilometers per second so if we know if we'll convert it in meter per second so high how high velocity it will become so it will return back but imagine here imagine we have such a case that anyone is not throwing any stone from here imagine we have such a case that here any to- any kind of torch we have now and from this torch a beam of light it is going up a beam of light will be going up and what we know the velocity of light that is c which is equals to 3. Point, okay no, sorry 3 into 10 Raised to the power eight meters per second. Okay, this is the velocity of light. Three into ten raised to the power eight meters per second. And since we know that c is always greater, c is the greater than v e. Okay, why? Because we can write which is equals to three into ten raised to the power eight meters per second is always greater than eleven point two kilometers per second. this we have so of course this is miss c value is greater than v e this is why any pulse of light if we leave any okay beam of light from here from earth so since we know its velocity is so high that no effect of gravitational force will come on this and it will easily escape earth gravitational field very easily because it's okay its value velocity of any okay of any kind of light is higher than the escape velocity of earth so this is why if any th- a stone is thrown by 5 meters per second it will again come down but if any okay beam of light is thrown up but it, then it will never come down okay so that's the point so today this was my today's topic about escape velocity thank you